So I'm here with Taryn Kirst. So first and foremost, congratulations on committing to Illinois. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, um, where you're from, your high school, um, club, year, position? Yeah, so I'm Taryn Kirsch. I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I play for Cairo Elite Volleyball in Sioux Falls. And um, my freshman year, I was at Lincoln High School in Sioux Falls, and now I'm at Washington High School. And I'm a libero. Okay, and if I remember correctly, you weren't always a libero, right? So how yeah. did you become a libero? Um, so previously in my volleyball career, I was always an outside, like it was my thing. I loved hitting. And mm -hmm. then my sister, Bryn Kirsch, you know, libero at KU, she was always, um, you know, one of the top players in the state as a libero. So I always kind of knew that when I was going to get a little bit older, if I wanted to play volleyball collegiately at the level that I wanted to, that I was probably gonna have to make a position change just because I was a bit undersized, but um yeah I guess for high school season I was kind of like maybe I should just you know switch right now I mean might as well so I just went through my high school season and it went really well and then I went through club and you know it's just taken off since then yeah so what schools were on your finals list and how did you exactly narrow that down to the University of Illinois yeah so I mean I committed pretty early I mean I committed I think like one o'clock, two o'clock on the 16th. So I really only had like 30 hours to talk to schools. Mm -hmm. But I would say like my top, my favorite schools, definitely like Illinois was always my top one. Even just going through this season, I always knew that they were going to be my favorite school. And then the K-State um, coaches just really drew me in. I just, um, whole new coaching staff. So mm -hmm. they're just great people. And I really liked them. And then Long Beach State, talking to Tyler Hildenbrand, who was previously at Nebraska. I'm sure you know him, Sam. <laughs> yep. You know, just talk, listening to them talk and how they view the game of volleyball, that was really nice to hear, I thought. And I really enjoyed our conversation. And then I think my last one was Pitt. Um, we only had one phone call just because I had committed earlier. But, um, yeah, I really liked their vision for their program. And, great people so yeah so what really stood out to you at Illinois this is actually a great question this is like the main reason I picked Illinois was because their coaching staff is amazing from like top to bottom they are such kind people and I just really when I went down there for camp I just thought to myself like I could really see myself going here just very similar to you know the way we're coached at Kairos which is just kind of a supportive environment and it honestly feels like a family because our program is so small oh here comes my dog <laughs> um yeah but I thought um just talking to them and their players and even previous players they all had mentioned how it just felt like a big family and that was just really something that I was looking for in a program there's my dog so <laughs> Yeah, that, that ultimately was my decision maker. That's awesome. So was there like a moment or an event that um, that you knew right away that you wanted to go there? I think, um, so the way that a lot of the top programs recruit players, especially um, like when it comes to offering, they will offer two kids the same money, like they're one and two for whatever position. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of just like who calls first and quits first gets the money type of deal. Yep. And so, um, you know, I was taking my calls, my timeline. I thought maybe like a week, two weeks, you know, I wasn't really um, pushing to commit super fast. But Max Curran, one of the coaches at Kairos, had called me and said that um, the other libero that they had offered was about – to get ready to commit to she had like narrowed it down to two yep. schools and I just like instantly felt sick and I was like oh my gosh like no and so I think that moment just my body's reaction to hearing that it just really made me realize like okay this is where I want to go I'm just kind of like waiting it out like I know I'm gonna go here so I was like you know what I got on the phone 10 minutes later and I just committed so that was kind of my moment but yeah that's yeah. awesome. So you talked about how you love the coaching staff was like distance, academics, um, program history, maybe playing right away. Was that a, also a big factor in your final decision or no? Yeah, I would say those probably touch on like all of them. 
I mean, I wanted to go to school that was academically strong, which Illinois is a great academic school. Um, I also didn't want to, you know, sit around and wait to play. So mm -hmm. that definitely was a factor in my decision. You know, Illinois is a great program and I'm hoping to come in and, you know, be able to compete for a spot right away. And yeah, I mean, Illinois is about like a nine hour car ride. So it's not terrible, but there's also really accessible flights. So that was something that was important to me. And like, especially like I touched on the family piece. Like I just felt like even if it was nine hours away from home, if it feels like family there, then it's it's not so bad. And with it being in the Big Ten Conference, there's a lot of um, games, away games that are really close to my family. So, yeah. And I know when I played, Illinois had a pretty great fan base. And I know a lot of their students showed up to the games and really got into it. So can you touch yeah. a little bit about their fan base? Yeah, so this was actually something that I was really excited about when I had gotten down to Champaign for camp and they were all telling me about it. Um, so most of the main hall, uh, dorms are right across from Huff Hall where they play. And so they get a bunch of students just come in. I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if it's called the Spike Squad or something like that. I, yeah. I don't know. It's something like that. Yeah. yeah. And their fan base is nuts. Like they always have a bunch of students at the games. Like the, just like anyone that lives in Illinois loves Illinois sports. And I just think that's, it's so cool to me. And it's just a super supportive just school environment in general, which is really cool. Yeah. All right. Well, perfect. That is all I had today. So thank you so much for joining me. And again, congratulations. Thank you, Sammy.